With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, using Huygens principle, verify Snell's law of refraction of plane wave propagating from denser medium to redder medium. Now, as we know, refracted ray and incident ray are perpendicular to their corresponding wavefront. So, suppose this is our interface, suppose boundary separating two medium, that is denser medium and redder medium. Denser medium has refractive index as mu1 and redder medium has refractive index as mu2. Now, mu1 is greater than mu2 as given in the question. Now, we draw an incident ray and perpendicular to this incident ray, there is, let's say, incident wavefront. So, suppose this is our incident ray and perpendicular to this incident ray, we have our, let's say, wavefront. So, this is normal and with this normal, we can say here, this incident ray makes an angle of incidence I and as the ray goes from denser to redder, we can say it bends away from the normal. So, this is I and this angle here is angle of refraction as R. Now, these are three parallel incident and refracted rays. Let's say responding to them, their normals are drawn and we have this as incident ray and refracted rays. So, we draw the incident wavefront and let's say refracted wavefront all perpendicular to their rays. So, this is our incident wavefront perpendicular to incident rays. So, we can see here all are making an angle of 90 degree with the let's say incident wavefront. These all incident rays are making an angle of 90 degree with the incident wavefront. So, this is incident wavefront and in similar manner we can say here the refracted wavefront is perpendicular to the refracted rays that is this is our refracted wavefront all making an angle of 90 degree with the refracted wavefront all refracted rays are making an angle of 90 degree as in the diagram shown with the refracted wavefront. So this is refracted wavefront and these are corresponding points. Now after naming these points we can say here since the wavefront points are all lying in same phase that is we can say here time taken to travel from A to F is equal to time taken to travel from D to B to G that is DBG is equal to we can say here time taken to travel from point E to point C. Now let's say taking first and last equation that is time taken to travel from AF is equal to time taken to travel from E to C. So TAF can be written as TAC. Now as we know time is given as distance by velocity. So we can say here the distance in the first case is given as AF and velocity in the first let's say medium. Here we can say this is V1 and this here is our V2. So V1 can be written as let's say C by V1 and V2 can be written as C divided by V2. Now here AF can be written as let's say our V2 is equal to EC divided by EC let's say V travels with speed of V1. Now from here the geometry we can say here this is our triangle. Now this is A, this point is F and this point is C and this here is 90 degree. Now from the geometry we can see if this is angle R then this angle will be 90 minus R as this is perpendicular as shown here 90 degree. So this angle we can say here will be equal to 90 minus 90 minus R which is equal to R. So this angle comes as R. So we can say here from this triangle applying trigonometry this becomes sin of r is equal to af divided by ac. So from here af can be written out as ac into we can say here sin of r. So af comes as ac into sin of r divided by in the denominator there is v2. Similarly in this triangle we have a e and 
C. So we can say here this angle is I. Then this angle will be 90 minus I. So we can say here this angle will be I. So this will be I. Hence from this geometry we can say here EC in terms of AC can be written as sin of I is equal to EC divided by AC which comes out as EC is equal to we can say as AC times sin of I. So EC can be written as AC into sin of I divided by speed V1. Now AC AC cancels out. So here we can say this can be written as sin I divided by sin R is equal to this comes out as V1 by V2. Now V1 we have as C divided by mu1 and V2 we have as C divided by mu2. So from here we can say sin of I divided by sin of R comes out as let's say mu2 by mu1 which is a constant which is known as relative refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium which always remains constant and this we know as our Snell's law of refraction which is being asked to prove in the question using Huygens wave theory. Hence we have proved here let's say Snell's law of refraction hence this is our answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.